Um, I wasn't going to make a video of this process, so I'm actually sort of picking things up a little li little late in the day um, for giving a sort of start-finish approach to making a video because this is just sort of nearing the end. And the reason I wasn't going to make a video of this process is because um, I wasn't 100% sure it was going to work. I didn't really want to seem like an idiot sort of saying oh this is what I'm doing and then lo and behold it all fails I think you fool anyway so basically what I'm doing here is fabricating um, curved box section so um, box section um, being this stuff like uh, square hollow tube sorry focus square hollow tube and it, I need it bent into this curve here. Ignore these that cross member. Sorry, this is struggling to focus a bit. Ignore this cross member and that. That's just to hold it into its position whilst I'm um, welding it. But I have decided to make a little video because at the moment you can see the component parts of it. So box section, I'll come back to this thing, is... Um, um, it's all one piece, effectively. There's an interior weld seam in the stuff. I'll just turn the brightness up on this. So you can see this line down here. That's inside the tube and that's where it's welded. But ultimately, it's all one um, thing. Where And you, when you bend it, it crushes and it fold, um, it crushes and it sort of pooches out in some areas. And you, what I want is to be able to have a curved box section, but that's that's in its same profile. Like it doesn't crush up or pinch in, and because I want to be able to lay it flat. Because I make this thing that I'm making, this curved thing, is for a gate. So my process for it has been to I'll show you on this bit over here to bend a piece of flat bar to the internal radius, bend a piece of flat bar to the external radius, and then cut pieces of sheet to fill the gap. So what I'm making here is 50 mil box section, and this is a piece of 50 by six, 50 by six, which means that 50 mil box minus six mil thickness minus six mil thickness leaves 38. So this is six, 38, six. And what I've done is carefully, I'll try and get in on this, is gone along in and chamfered into, let's see if I can get on this properly. Yeah, so you can see how I've ground these chamfered edges so that I, when I weld, I'm really penetrating in so that it's strong. So there's some areas where there's a bit of a gap. Um, that's not too much of a bother to me, to be honest, because um, all that really means is that the weld is definitely going to penetrate right down into, you can probably see the chamfering that I've done. Let me just get the... Yeah, so you can, anyway, so uh, now there needs a little bit of sort of a bit of tweaking around here, but I'm gonna try and, oh, sorry, I'm gonna just, okay, so ultimately, let me see if I can, yeah, okay, so like maybe, you know, I need to fill in like little bits like this, and, but this is the finished result of where you can't tell that there is these sort of separate pieces. Um, so there's quite a lot of areas I've got, you know, well, top and bottom that I've got left to do. Um, part of the logic of using the six mil on the outside, on the outside and on the interior edge is because what I'll then do is, it I've used that thickness material rather than using like three mil and three mil thickness stuff. This is three mil sheet on top, by the way. Uh, the, the reason for using six mil and six mil is because I'm going to slightly make it um, 
I'm going to radius off these outside edges once everything's welded because another piece of box section that I'm using and that D shape thing is going to be welded onto is this and this has quite a sort of soft outside edge and if I leave it um, if I left all this as is it has quite a sort of hard outside edge and I just want to blend it in a little bit better um, so you could actually see over here like uh, this bit needs to be sort of put into position a bit better and tacked well tack welded in but if I pop this you can really see how um, it's it's a conglomerate of four parts of like one two three and the same thing again on the bottom so that just needs to be pushed back down in tack weld so yeah um, yes that's about it wish me luck So yeah, any areas where it's you know not blended in yet, I've either got to do a little bit more welding or whatever, but ultimately that's the aim of the game. <laughs>